Hello and welcome here to a video today. And you might notice that the camera should be a bit more level. I'm not entirely sure how it's looking because I pushed the thing down. But the camera should work a bit more level because I got a new tripod. And I can really check the level of it because it's got a little level thing on it so I can see if it's straight or not. Now, today's video is sort of actually kind of funny because last time I made a video like this talking about a race. But it's a bit different. But last time I talked about a race specifically after it was Bristol. And today we're specifically talking after the race at Bristol. The only difference is a bit better. Last time I talked about a race, it was the last Bristol race and Kevin Harvick had crashed in it. Today though we're talking about the impressive run that Kevin Harvick has had through the 2015 season. He only has two wins, last year's champion, but he has ten top two finishes. It's the first time that we've seen any driver with a top two finish since 1972. Well, to have double digits for top two finishes. He has finished ten times as the runner-up driver, which is pretty impressive, but if you sort of like the driver, it's sort of... It's impressive, and it's good if you're a fan of the driver, but it also gets kind of annoying. Because someone who is that watch has been so close, and I've had to watch Kevin Harvey keep getting second. But it's still a very impressive run to get 10 top 2 finishes in a season. The nice thing is that he isn't super upset about it. He's like, oh, we got top we, did, we got second, you know? He's cool with these, like, you know, we got a good team type thing. So it's very good to see that he's taking in that sort of sense and not, we got second again and then get mad. So, I mean, you know, there you go. Um, but I think that it's pretty impressive that he has been able to get that many finishes. He started out the season, I think, with, like, three or four right then. No, actually, no, I think he was up to, like, was he up to six? I don't know. He was up to like five or six though, the first five or six races. And then he just got a, he got, I think three races this season that he hasn't gotten a top ten finish. And those of you out there that are interested, you can go get yourself a uh, Bloomin' Onion and Outback every Monday if he gets a top ten. So, just throw that out there. Um, the thing's pretty impressive and uh, that's it in this video, so make sure you like to the video, subscribe to the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we do a bunch of other racing stuff, so if you're interested in that, uh, go check that out. Um, you know, we got reviews of diecast cars, we got each week we do a race preview. So, uh, you know, and if you're into other stuff, make sure you just check out the channel. So, do it, subscribe, you know, that's all you gotta do.